Good morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Si sería tan amable, do you mind giving me some privacy here? Mr. Rodriguez, what can we do for you? I was supposed to have a quick meeting with Senorita Martinez. Do you know where she is? Sure. She's She's back there. Any minute now. Ah, perfect. Muchas gracias. Did you see the poster? Rico Delgado coming down to us dirty villages to unveil some ridiculous statue? Sure. I went to the bar last night and the band was
cartel business only. Take a look about. One second. After jump out of a window before Hector discovered him. I think he hurt his leg in the process. Yeah, I heard. He even passed the letter around the basement bar at the party that night. Weird to think Hector and Martinez used to be an item. I mean, he's batshit crazy. She's so hyper luxurious. She can't even stand to be in her village mansion for too long. Talk about an old cop. Yeah, I love to see her face if she ever found a letter though. Rumor has it, she hates him. Huh. Rico Delgado's brother Hector is trying to win back his old flame, Andrea Martinez. Apparently, Hector has authored a rather slushy love letter. For one of the Sicarios foolhardily stole it from Hector's room during last night's party. I suggest you acquire that letter, 47. From what we know about Martinez, a declaration of love from Hector is bound to provoke a reaction. That's my impression as well. Sad for Hector. He's still crazy about it. around the family items. Mr. Delgado got some important pictures and things like that in his trophy room hey, that you need to be very gentle with.
Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary here. No shit. I have a letter from Miss Martinez. All right, let me see that. Is that from Hector? I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, let me enlighten you. Hector Delgado and Andrea Martinez were an item once. Explosive and deadly. Things did not end well between them. He wants them to get back together. She wants them to go to hell. She's not accepting letters or gifts or anything from him. And neither am I. You put it on her desk yourself if it's so important to you. Fine, but does it hurt? Check that out. Go have a look, okay? Yeah, no worries. Done. Well done, 47. This should be good. to let anything from Hector through. But what did I just find? A letter. Were my instructions not clear? Yes, Mr. Martinez. Very clear. 
I don't know how that happened. We'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Burn everything that even remotely smells like that idiot. Got it? Yes, Mrs. Martinez. Ah, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me. See what he has to say. My, Hector, you romantic fool. I had no idea you still felt this way. Maybe. Hmm. But has he really changed? Martinez is down. Así, ahora me acuerdo. Have you heard about baby two friends? I still can't believe it. Oh, baby two. Also, goodbye. I'm not gonna do like this. I mean, he's only the biggest celebrity tattoo artist in the world. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about. Sounds like he's got money to spare. So, P power. Celebrity tattooist of Tattoo Torment fame has come to Santa Fortuna, presumably to work his magic on Rico Delgado, a known ink enthusiast. Sounds like an invitation to the mansion, 47. Are you feeling expressive? Could be. <gasps> Lucky guy. I wish I could afford one of these pieces. Ah, his work isn't that impressive. All he really Real name, Paul Powers. Celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. If I mess up, he's going to kill me. You have to help me and call me Ayer. Hmm? What the hell was that? Money, but those are my tips, man. What the hell?
see that fat power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to freeze him. But I'm gonna pat you down if you want to. Security shit, you know. You're entering the lion's den, 47. It's just a so for care. me as it is for you. Practically everyone here is dangerous, not least Rico Delgado himself. All right, good job, my man. Thank you. Do that is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. Oh my years. god, Uncle Rico Guerrero, so it's really you, Big Power. It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart of the heart of the dead dying policeman while they're administrating CPR, <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Ah, oh, see. So, Rico has this tattoo on his neck, and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico. Let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Yay! Just look this way. Oh, can see. Wow, we look so good together. This is great. Now to leave your mark on Mr. Delgado. So, this is the famous P. Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Yeah. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not... Get out of my face. I'm serious. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. Are you doing this just to annoy me, Kat? What? Am I not allowed to update my social channels anymore? Is that it? You can't focus here, all right? You're being such an ass right now, Rico. Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. I've got this under control. Hey, you need to keep guys. still, Mr. Delgado. I'm watching you. I wouldn't want One to stab you by accident. You heard the man, Carolina. Leave us now. Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Hey, relax, Jose. We're fine. Just making sure the script doesn't try anything funny. You're taking it too far, Jose. No guns. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Jefe. So what are we waiting for, huh? I'm here, I'm ready. Get on with it. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. 
But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, Wei Won. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. What's up, man? Sit down. Relax. The universe will correct itself again, right? I don't know, man. I've been, like, smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? I need to get it to this dude, uh, Franco. But man, it, it broke. It's supposed to be in one piece when I deliver it over by some cave entrance behind the pharmacy, but... It broke. Bummer, man. Maybe just glue it together? I don't know. I... So, a drug dealer from Sapienza has been testing a new method for smuggling Delgado brand cocaine into Europe, baking the substance into souvenirs, coated in a special anti-drug detection paint solution. The dealer has been traveling the globe, testing the method. However, he accidentally broke the souvenir on arrival and needs to mend it before going to see Franco. I think it's gonna ruin the taste test. This Franco guy is like a bloodhound, but, you know, you know? Ah, man, that... That's right. Keep walking out of here. You're not welcome. Where? 
Sí, te lo pregunto porque joder, a mí se lo tendré que decir. Pero, ¿no? survive down here. They're getting ready to attack us. self medic uh. Hey, you're not getting away with this. Ground cave system with a submarine. This must be what ties the militia and the cartel together, 47.
see what the hell that was. And how may I help you today, senor? It's gonna be rats. They can make the weirdest sounds. Lo que tú digas. And how may I help you today, senor? I'd like to buy some glue, please. No, I'm afraid we just ran out of that item, senor. I saw the last bottle to the mechanic next door. Do you sell glue? A la puta! It's a funny looking vehicle, right? The tourists will be like, if I get in the back of this funny looking thing, I'll probably have a lot of fun myself. I even install a horn that goes, nyah, nyah. And we're on. That is...
Nice day. No drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. No, no. Search you if you want to pass. You okay with that? Just relax. You'll be in your way again in a second. Okay, let's go, man. Thank you. All right. Mr. Franco is expecting you in the caves below. I'll just radio the others. Hang on. Groovy. It's Carlos. Tell Franco his guest is here. All right, come with me. Try not to get lost, okay? Place this kind of dangerous. I'll do my best. Interesting to see how many of you backpacking types are willing to... I thought your hippie types were only into the softer drugs. I'm surprised to see you walking in Franco. I live by my own rules. So I guess all that make love not worth thing has sort of lost its luster, huh? Peace and love isn't really my thing. Bring it home, Dario. Ah, you're expected. Have a seat. Franco's on his way. Despite an annoying delay, it's finally here. Let's have a look. Oh. It got through customs without a problem, we hope? I had no issues. Excellent. We're not sure whether this will pass the taste test, but that remains to be seen. Follow us, please.
Frontier assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. source checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. 